Hey, you just dropped in with Aaron and Travis. A couple of words where we give our two cents about these millennial topics. Stay tuned for this next episode. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Okay, so um, I, I do want your personal opinion because I did withhold this for this conversation. Um, Did I make a right life decision? I always give you it straight. Go ahead. So um, I turned down the street to get to work and you messed up right the there let me <laughs> should have went home <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let me set the mood mm-hmm. it is 5 20 okay you're just driving you're going 25 miles because the speed limit is 30 and you're not in a rush to I'm get close there my eyes. okay 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 go ahead keep keep them closed all right Cardi B is lightly bumping on the radio. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. You turn and look to your right, Mm -hmm. and you see a man walking in the middle of the street about to walk into your car. Like, you're almost about to hit him. Okay. And his right hand, well, he has on very nice clothes. He has on a, like, very nice fitted sweater, some slacks. Right. And his right hand, he's holding a baseball bat. Oh, he about to, he about to do something. And his left hand, he has a crowbar. Hey, what are you up to? You lightly turn the music down so it goes and it's up and it's up and it's up and hmm. Can I ask what uh ethnic I need the whole This is a black man. Okay, yes, I got yes. it. I got he it. He is of the African diaspora. Um he is screaming the at, top at of his lungs. I think he's trying to find somebody because he doesn't even notice he's about to get hit by my car. I swerve around. He's walking from like an area that has a lot of an area that has a lot of apartments. Well, not apartments, hotels. And he's walking towards a gas station. Mm-hmm. Life decision moment. Should I have called somebody? Jeez. No, nah, you just need to work. <laughs> I have asked. That's going to be a whole call. Like, hey, man, it's a dude with, he got nice clothes on. He got really nice. I like his slacks. And, but he got a crowbar and a baseball bat in the other hand. And he about to head to the gas station. Is that where it was? He was going to head to the gas station. So I told my coworkers. Was it sunny or gloomy outside? It is you 520 the in the morning. It is Dark. It's dark. It's black. It is dark. Daylight saving time just hit too. Daylight saving still black, black. just hit. But I can look out and tell he is not homeless. He isn't his right mind. He has very nice clothes on. And he is about to kill someone. Hmm. And you are the only person on the road because it is 520 and he is exhibiting not 520 a.m. energy. Okay. This is 1.45 p.m. energy he is exhibiting. Something about to go down, bro. Is that considered snitching or is that just for gang mentality? I don't know. I've never been in a gang. Is this? I almost was, you know what I mean? (laughs) Travis! I was in seventh grade. Oh, no. (laughs) I believe you. (laughs) This is why I'm coming to you now. Should I have called someone? And so then I called my mama and she said, uh, you don't call nobody. The only person you should call is the person he's going after and you don't know them. So you should keep going. There ain't nothing you can do. Yeah. Your mama thug. So yeah. Thug life. Thug life. I see what she's saying. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't, I, I'm going to work. I'm going to work, man. Might see him at the emergency room. <laughs> oh no. <At> work. <laughs> oh no. I could have prevented this. <laughs> Dang. But what did you do? And then my you mom, got beat up, bro. You had the bat oh and the my crowbar. God. So you my needed mom, a free hand. That's what happened. <laughs> I know. My mom was just like, and he was coming from a hotel. This was about a woman, about his money, or about both. I was like, mommy, what? You don't even know. He could be on a mission, man. Let him handle his business, whatever. Hopefully. Wait, with a crowbar? Yeah, man. With a cro- I had to I told my coworker this and she had to Google what a crowbar was. When it popped up, she said, Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Think about this. If you saw Keanu Reeves from John Wick and he he handling he got a sword in his hand 
and he going somewhere as well. The same way. You gonna call somebody? Okay, so okay, so I don't want to get racial, but if you saw a white, like just like you saying, if you saw a white dude with a sword, you about to call? I'm gonna call. <laughs> I'm just gonna call. That's racist. I don't. I know. I know. I know. I know that sounds bad, but I'm calling the police on the white man. I'm nervous. I don't know what he's gonna do. That just happened. I don't know. This man has a sword. He looks like Neo from the Matrix. Okay, I'm no Morpheus, but I think we need backup. Dang, I was trying to make a connection. Like, no, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't call on. I'm not calling for John Wick. I'm not calling I, for the black man either. I know, <laughs> ah, dang. I know this sounds bad, but I'm a little bit nervous for the guy with the sword, only because have you heard? Of too many black guy serial killers. What you mean? He's going for one person. You ever heard of Chicago? Okay, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But just in general, in general, Travis, in general, the black dude with the the, the bat and the crowbar, you know he's going for one person. The dude with the sword, I feel as if he's going to go for multiple people. But they they just beat him up. They just whooped his behind. I know. And, and it killed his bad. dog. It does, that does not mean I'm a good person. The dog, I was, just... uh, the dog was from his his wife who died. That's the only memory. Are you giving him a whole backstory? <laughs> yes, man. If I see it, I'm like, hey, I can't do that. It's the same thing. I don't know who to call to help him. Okay. Well, you know what? In all honesty. In all honesty, you racist. It... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> in all honesty, if it's 520 in the morning, I'm just going to be real. I'm probably not going to call anybody. I'm just going to go to work. Still focused on work. You know? I'm still going to. And that sounds so terrible.